Well, our next guest is somebody who uh, I think is uh, familiar to many of you, uh, Robert Klein, who we know have done many film festivals in this area uh, throughout, uh, usually do a couple of years sometimes, No, right? uh, we do the West Coast Film Festival, mm -hmm. my wife Stephanie Haredi and myself, every last week going into Labor Day uh, called the West Coast Film Festival, partners with Regency Theater and Warner Brothers. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, you're... You have quite a relationship over the decades, I guess, with the Warner Brothers, and yes. really in the Hollywood industry as well. Yeah, I've been uh, head of Fox for a decade. I created, uh, I'm a co-founder of Lifetime Television, and I've been under a contract of Warner's for a long time where I did my Oliver Stone films uh, for HBO, the Great Director series. Yeah, you know. that, that was a good series. Yeah, thank you. That was a very good series. Well, uh, you've done, um, uh, as, as you've talked about before, you've done things on, uh, on the Kennedys before. And uh, this one is uh, kind of the other end of the spectrum in some ways. The Reagans, uh, the legacy endures. I'm going to hold this up, and this is going to be coming up on um, October 30th. At That's the, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday at 7 o'clock. If you happen to come across one of these flyers, it says 7.30, but it is at 7 o'clock. Yes. Tell me about this, about this project. Uh, I, this is the second one I've done on Ronald Reagan. I did two, one on the Kennedys, on the family, coming mm -hmm. from Ireland, and then one last November for Warners uh, called JFK Remembered. The first one I did on uh, Ronald Reagan was four years ago on the 100th anniversary of his birth. Wow. <laughs> so that was a, now. And, 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 and it dealt with the journey Right. Of Ronald Reagan from Illinois uh, to becoming a Hall of Fame uh, sports announcer in the yeah, Hall of Fame. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Uh, to taking a screen test at Warner Brothers and getting a seven year contract. And while not necessarily being a great actor, he was a very competent, he mm -hmm. was a star. He was a star. Yeah, he was. By any criteria. Yeah. Um, and then becoming a TV host for GE Theater and Death Valley Days. Yeah. Uh, every level of his life, he was a success. The interesting, every level. Yeah. I don't he, know why anybody underestimated that man. That is very true because um, you, you go up to the Reagan Library and if you haven't been up there, up in Simi Valley, it is absolutely spectacular. I don't care what your political side is. It is a very balanced place, but just just to, uh, to, to see some of the things involved in the presidency, you have Air Force One up there and all that. It is, it is very, very I impressive. signed my deal to do this with them and Mrs. Reagan on Air Force One. Oh, did you one, really? On, which <laughs> I thought was. Uh, so the first one dealt with his presidency yeah. and his journey. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, and that was an enormous success. I mean, enormous success, sold a half a million DVDs. That yeah. is very large. Yeah. And I get a call uh, from Walmart and from Target, who's like the Super Bowl. Yeah. And they, say, they said, would you do another one? And I thought I had left it behind. And then I thought, I could do another one on them. Mm -hmm. They had now, Nancy, uh, as perhaps people know, was not his first wife. Right. His first wife was Jane Wyman, an Academy Award winning actress mm -hmm. for Johnny Belinda. After 10 years, the marriage broke up. Nancy was an actress under contract to MGM and found out that she was blacklisted. This was during oh, the House on American Activities sure. mm -hmm. and McCarthyism, and she was blacklisted. In which she found to be unbelievable. Her father was Dr. Loyal Davis, one of the high profile doctors in America and a leader of the conservative movement in America. Yeah. But a real conservative, uh -huh. much like William F. Buckley, who was a show I created a long time ago. Mm -hmm. uh, she called a friend of hers. Um, a, who was a very, very high profile person. And he said, I got to get you a meeting with the president of the Screen Actors Guild. His name is Ronald Reagan. I'll set up a dinner meeting for you at the Brown Derby. 
and tell him, and he'll help you. He's yeah. really a good guy. Mm -hmm. They have dinner. They fall in love immediately at dinner. <laughs> he gets her off the blacklist. Mm -hmm. And their marriage, um, on every level, in my research, uh, everybody talks about John Adams and Abigail and mm -hmm. their letters. The letters from Ronald Reagan uh, to Nancy right. uh, are loving. Mm -hmm. And Ronald Reagan was a very good writer. That yeah. was a one thing. And again, you go up to the uh, Reagan Library, they have a lot of those letters, so you can read them for yourself. Yeah, yeah. it mm -hmm. did it. And I said, I'm going to do one about their relationship and the impact that she had on his presidency, mm -hmm. where we as Americans benefited mm -hmm. from that relationship. His trust, okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's a beautiful, beautiful movie. How long did it take you to do this? Yeah, a year and a half. And is this a, a film that um, you have a narr narrator throughout, a documentary style, and somebody's narrating a part yes. of it? Yes. Okay. But what I did, mm -hmm. and the uh, interesting thing, when we did the first Ronald Reagan movie, mm -hmm. I got a call from the Herald Library and said, I normally don't say this because we get other people doing films. Mm -hmm. But Mrs. Reagan told me that when she introduced me for that premiere, you have made the best movie on Ronnie that's been made. And then she was very cute. She said, Bob told me he didn't vote for Ronnie either time, <laughs> which I felt I owed her that yeah. credit. Said, but we didn't need Bob's votes. We won by the two biggest landslides yeah. in the history. <laughs> what we needed from Bob was an objective balance. And what they told me and what this one is, it's it basically, Ronald and Nancy Reagan in their own words. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to have talking heads yeah. to yeah. tell me what I should think about Ronald Reagan to interpret what he said. So it's really a good movie. Well, again, this is coming up on um, October 30th, which is a Thursday at 7 o'clock at uh, the Regency Theaters, and that's down at, uh, in San Juan Capistrano. Right uh, next to the railroad station. Yeah, right there. It's a great place. It is. Let me hold this up again. And if you want to head on down there, any advance reservations? Yes, okay. they can call the box office at 949. Okay, so just the Regency box office then. Okay, that's it. Great. Uh, or Great. they could try Fandango. Okay, very good. That's good to know. That's easy. You don't have to, uh, if you forget that, just think Reason Regency Theaters, the one that has Rick's Cafe in San Juan Capistrano. And from there, you can get all the information. Again, this is October. 30th at 7 o'clock. It's a Thursday. And, it's a uh, nice picture of him, isn't it? Yeah, it's a very good picture. Bob, thank you. Thank you again. And we'll see you again, I'm sure. I hope so. All right. Okay. We'll be back. As you know, always. It'll be interesting to have you in sometime. And, and do